SS, which will run from 2010 to 2015. At present, under the watchful eye of the department, positive change is already gaining ground in the area of sewage management in the state. Under the new plan, before sewage is lifted from various septic tanks, a specified quantity of enzyme supplied by the sewage department is mixed with water, which will be poured into the septic tank a few minutes before it is drawn out. The partially treated sewage is then transported in an evacuation truck to the sewage dump site. The enforcement and inspection unit of the sewage department ensures that proper processes are followed and septage is drawn out of the septic tank only after the enzyme has been applied. The enzyme acts on the septage and by the time it gets to the dump site, it is not only turned into liquid but also environmentally friendly and harmless to aquatic life. In most developed countries, wastewater is transported from buildings in a network of underground pipes called sewers and taken to a sewage treatment plant. This system of sewers is known as a central sewage system. In Lagos State, less than 1% of Lagosians use the central sewage system and they all reside in organized estates. Ikmori Estate on the Lagos mainland is one of such residential estates. The central sewage system here, like those in the other organized estates, had become moribund before the inception of this administration. This system, which was built to serve the Ikmori residential estate, is based roughly on the same blueprint as can be found in the other low-cost housing estates built during the Jakonde regime. These estates were originally built to function without septic tanks. Sewage was taken out of the buildings through a network of pipes called a sewer network. Since the inception of this administration, studies have shown that there is need for an integrated approach to septage evacuated from septic tanks as well as sewage from the estates. Consequently, the Lagos State Government embarked on rehabilitation and modification of all state-owned wastewater treatment plant to receive and treat septic tank liquor. Thus, upon completion, each of the central sewage systems in these estates will have the capability to treat septage transported by the evacuation trucks from adjoining areas and sewage from the sewer network in the estates before they are taken to the aeration tank where biological treatment takes place. After aeration, wastewater goes through a clarification process to separate solid particles from the liquid. However, instead of sending all sewage into the discharge outpoint, some of it can be sent to the process tank from where it is passed into drying beds. When this has been done, tests are carried out. These are wastewater quality indicators, which are done to determine whether or not a specific wastewater will have an adverse effect upon water quality, including all aquatic life therein. Not too long ago, septage from all septic tanks was usually taken in small amounts to the laboratory at the Alausa treatment plant for testing. However, with the recent purchase of a mobile laboratory, it has become possible to test sewage on the spot without taking it to Alausa. The treated effluent is passed into the digester where the wastewater is solidified into what is known as sludge. Sludge can be used as manure for agricultural processes. Also, plans are on for energy generation from the sludge by the research unit of the sewage department while the liquid is used for horticulture and greening. Inadequate infrastructure is a major challenge in sewage management in Lagos. Investing in infrastructural development in the sector will be of immense benefit to Lagosians. Corporate organizations are also expected to contribute by having their own packaged wastewater treatment plants which are to be certified by the sewage department every year. While some have complied, there are still others referred to as corporate violators who have not. It is obvious then that although sewage is now partially treated before being disposed of and sewage control standards have been raised across the state, there is still much to be done to achieve proper sewage management. The demand for sewage treatment plants still far outweighs the supply. Indeed, 
the feat is not an easy one and the acquisition of funds remains a hurdle. In developed countries today, sewage control is seldom the sole responsibility of the government. Many metropolitan cities around the world adopt some form of privatization. It is therefore no surprise that the Lagos State government has decided on public-private partnership to complement its efforts as a means of achieving the goal of sustainable sewage management. For private partnership, we have a, a various schemes. We have the franchising, we have the concessioning, wherein they can come in and of course take some of the grid and uh, put it into use through their own investment and of course get a concession for it. Siwatek Nigeria Limited is one of such concessionaires. Actually, we did uh, several projects here in Lagos and in uh, Port Harcourt and other places of Nigeria and I'm glad uh, to say that we did uh, very well. And that's what we deal with. We clean the sewage uh, and then we release uh, clean water. Clearly, every resident of Lagos is a stakeholder. The media, investors, financial institutions and corporate organizations have a role to play in the actualization of this sustainable sewage and sanitation strategy vision. But what do Lagosians actually know about what happens to the sewage? The, the thing with sewage, as in sewage, is an aspect of the waste that we normally generate from the house. I know we have the solid and we have the liquid. And the one that passes through the one that, that passes through any conveying medium, either the pipe or through the septic tank, all those ones are called sewage. Well, I think with the advent of the new, uh, new um, government, uh, Lagos State government, I think quite a lot has been going on, but I've not particularly paid uh, particular attention to certain areas where you have um, industrial sewage, uh, uh, I mean, uh, depots, you know. But I know from time to time there has been this reduction in uh, blockages. Indeed, there is still the need for extensive public enlightenment. It is therefore fitting that the first step in the sustainable sewage and sanitation strategy is public enlightenment. We all need to collectively monitor whatever we have agreed and the milestone from time to time so that at the end of the day we can all live to celebrate our achievement in terms of sewage and wastewater management in the state. The Lagos Wastewater Summit 2010 is an opportunity for Lagosians to share ideas and participate actively in sewage control in the state. It is my pleasure this morning to welcome all of you to this press briefing on the forthcoming Lagos State Sewage and Wastewater Summit. It is expected that at the end of this summit, Lagosians will have a better understanding of proper sewage management and a greater commitment to our healthier Lagos.